I'm your 47th District State Representative, Mark Hargrove. Thank you for trusting me to serve the many communities in our district, which includes Auburn, Kent, Renton, Covington, Black Diamond, and Ravensdale. Thank you for watching today. This is my last video update for the regular legislative session that adjourned two days early on April 22nd. We will now be brought back for a special session that could last as many as 30 days and cost taxpayers as much as $16,000 each day. Like many of you at home, I believe we should have finished our work on time. But with the majority party making decisions on which bills move forward and what the state budget negotiations look like, all I can do is work hard for you and hope the House and Senate Democrats come together on an agreement quickly. Because we have a citizen legislature that serves only part-time in Olympia, most of us have jobs to go back to, whether that means taking care of a family, raising crops, or flying airplanes. We all have lives outside of here and a lot of constituents uh, who would like us to meet with them. The extra days can create hardship for many lawmakers, particularly our agriculturists, but all of us are committed to finishing the difficult work you sent us to Olympia to do. I, for one, am most excited to be home to spend more time with constituents, my family, and my friends. As I know more about how the session will progress, I will update constituents. Overall, being a new legislator has been a rewarding experience. I am grateful for your support, and I want to share a little about the good people serving in the legislature from around Washington. There are issues both sides of the aisle disagree on, but the one thing we all do is allow disagreements to turn to constructive discussions. Even being in the minority, I have been able to laugh with my Democrat colleagues about some of the issues going on around this place and share good conversations. We may disagree, but we are all trying to do the best for those we represent. I've also learned a lot about the committee process and working in a bipartisan way, even as a member of the minority party. It takes solid teamwork to get the business of the people done. One example is the transportation budget. I appreciated being invited to the table to offer my thoughts and ideas. While the Senate has held up the bill, we are continuing the bipartisan work in the conference committee. My goal has been to find a middle ground and I feel that with the guidance of my ranking Republican members and the Democrat committee chairs, I have been able to move my ideas forward in a meaningful way for the district. As I mentioned, the budget and a bunch of tax increase bills are what are taking us into this special session. But when I know more about what is moving and how the budget is shaping up, I will share it with you. If you haven't signed up for my legislative email updates, you can do so at my website. Just click on the icon, sign up for my email updates, click join and add your email address. The list is confidential and I am always mindful of your time so I don't send too many items but it is an easy and economical way to communicate with constituents and keep folks up to date. In the meantime, if you have questions or would like to meet with me in Olympia or at home in our district after we finish the special session, please feel free to call my office. That's it for this week. Please remember that my door is always open to you and I'm happy to assist constituents with finding information and working with state agencies. Please feel free to contact my legislative office anytime. Thank you for the opportunity to serve as your local representative.